Hi, my name is uh, Terry McGill, and some call me Brother McGill, and I'm just here to uh, let you know how God has turned my life around, and, and uh, a lot of stuff I was doing in my life wasn't godly, it was for Satan, and I didn't know what faith that God really meant. I saw a lot of people, they say, or I talked to a lot of people actually, and they say, well, they live by faith or they walk by faith. So I still say the exact same thing because I didn't really know. But my lifestyle, where I live, was it for God and for this world. And we know who's in this world, which is Satan. So uh, I got tired of the way my life was. So I just came to God, through God's help, led me to his word. And I, when I so read his word, I found out what faith really means. And I'd like to share it with you because it turned my changed my whole life around. Uh, I want to start right now. So I uh, pray that you listen. And I pray that uh, everyone want to hear the truth. This, uh, this is your eternal soul. It's not your friends, your mother, your father, or your sisters, your brother. But this is your eternal soul. And not even your pastors. It's your eternal soul. So through God's word, that's and let's read some scriptures together. Uh, what faith in God really means. How God words change, turn your whole life around. And not for the uh, worse, but for the better. Uh, I have some people here with me. And they're going to help me out. For us to read some scriptures for me. But for the viewers at home who can't see the scriptures. If it's too far back, I'm sorry. But... Uh, we're going to start at 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 20 through 21. And that's 2 Peter, chapter 1, 20 through 21. Which, uh, we can't read that for me, uh, please. Yeah. I'll get that first. Yes, ma'am. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. See, the Bible tells us, you know, I should hear all the time as I was walking in darkness that man wrote the Bible, man said it, man is, man is, man is, man is, so they believe what the Bible says. I should hear that all the time. But we just read that in time past, in time past, that uh, holy men of God, and they were moved by the Holy Ghost to write the scriptures. So I'm going to ask you, who listening, and those here, who wrote the scripture, man or God? God. God wrote the scripture. Man, but God came through man to write the scripture. So, if you don't want to believe this, you want to believe God. But we have that, we have that, it's a big thing going on right now about people who don't really want to follow God by his word because they believe that man wrote the scripture. But not knowing through the Bible that actually God wrote the scriptures. Okay. So, once again, who wrote the scriptures? God. God. Thank you. Now, let's move on. Let's move on. We're going we we to show you how faith in God, what it really means. And we're going to do a series of faith. So, uh, we're going to do a couple more, a uh, few more scriptures. Then we're going to, uh, uh, then later on, I'm going to, uh, uh, post another video about faith maybe in three weeks, but right now I'm just going to show you the basics right here. Okay, keep turning to me from John 14, 21 to 24. That's John 14, 21 to 24. Hmm? Uh, anyone care to read? Oh, my, I, I, I can read it, actually. Okay, let's read this. Uh, 
And what happened? Yeah. You can't read? He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and but manifest myself to him. Judah said unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how how is is it that thou would manifest thy, um, thyself unto us and not unto the Lord? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our combine with him. He that love, loveth me keep not keep keepeth not my sayings, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the father which sent me. Yes, yeah, see. Uh, what uh, she just read is that Jesus telling us all that in verse 21 that he that have my commandments and keepeth them, he that, that, that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself unto him. So Judas, he didn't understand, all right, unto him, not corsarate. Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words. And see, I want to, uh, we might went back to read that because right there and there, Jesus Christ said, If a man loves me, he will keep my words. All right? He didn't say, he didn't say, he didn't say he didn't take another way how you can love him, but keep it his word. And I don't, I've been to churches before in my life, and I have never heard that before in my life, you know, right? about how I can show Jesus Christ that I love him. I heard other ways to show, show Jesus Christ that I love him, but not by keeping his word. And uh, let's move on. And uh, he said, Jesus after I said unto him, if a man love you, keep my word, and my father will love him, and I will come unto him and make or a boy with him. He that loveth me not keep not my sins. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father which sent me. So, if I don't believe the word right here, then I don't believe God. Because this is not, Jesus Christ clearly says, it's not my word, but the Father who sent me. So if you don't want to believe the word of God, then you don't, want, you don't believe this word right here, then you don't want to believe God. You may well, man wrote the Bible, man is man, man, but if you don't want to believe the word of God, then you don't believe in God. That is so clear for us to read and see for ourselves. And that is John chapter 14, 21 to 24. Jesus tells us how we can uh, keep his commandments by keeping his word. He tells us, if you love me, keep my, uh, keep my word. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father who sent me. So if I don't keep his word, and I'm going to leave his word, then I'm going to leave it at God. And you ask yourself a common sense question. Where do you think I would be going come to us today if I'm going to leave it at God? Thank you. Plain and simple. But once again, that is John 14, 21 through 24. So who can speak of the word of God? Jesus. Jesus did. Okay, through the word of God, all right? Okay, uh, I'm going to sit back and just stand up a little bit too long, hurt my leg, but okay. We, uh, let's turn to somewhere and read Romans chapter 10, 14 through 17. That's Romans chapter 10, 14 through 17. Hold on a second, uh, please. Let me get there. I'm trying to get there, but since I'm trying to make sure I can find it, if I can read it, if I can be there with him. Okay, uh, please. Uh, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As is written, how beautiful.
therefore are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel of Isaiah, says the Lord, who hath believed our report. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So faith come by hear and hear by the word of God. So faith come by hear, hear the word of God. Mm -hmm. See, they heard the word of God when Jesus walked, Christ walked the face of this earth. When Jesus Christ walked the face of the earth, they heard the word of God. So Jesus came speaking the word of God. Now, our time, when Jesus, when Jesus was crucified, he risen and went up to the, uh, back to uh, our father. Now we hear it through a preacher, the word of God. We hear the word of God. So faith only comes by hearing the word of God. You can't have faith just by itself. Walk by faith. You can't. You can't. You can't have that that way. You can't have faith just by say, uh, 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 I believe in faith. You can't have faith that way. You know, like, uh, I have faith that this will happen. Faith only comes by one way, and by hearing the word. Of God. Amen. That's the only way you can have faith Amen. in God. Amen. By hearing the word of God. <laughs> so we know Romans chapter 10, 14 through 17 clearly tells us uh, so how can I have faith in God? You want to know how can I can have faith in God? <laughs> That's it. That's how you have faith in God by reading the word. Read the word. That's the only way we have faith in God. You can't have faith in God any other way. And I'm going to show you that. I ain't wrote, I ain't write it down here, but I'm going to show you that, which is why it says that. But uh, uh, now turn with me. Colossians chapter 1. Excuse me. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23. That's Colossians chapter 1, verse 23. I'm almost there. Let's see. Matter of fact, I am there. You want to have it? Read it for me, please. If, if ye continue in faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have, uh, have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, Word of our Paul, you know, a minister. That's it. Now, thank you. Now, now I want to say, say, uh, right, this says, uh, and now, now I say, verse 23, Colossians 1, and verse 23, if you, if ye, that means you, continue in the faith, how can I continue in the faith? And faith come by hearing the word of God. Faith come by hearing the word of God. How can I continue in the faith? Mm -hmm. That's the only way. That's how you, that's how, you got to continue in the faith. You got to continue in the word of God. That's faith. You can have faith any other way if you don't continue in the word of God. Amen. Thank you. Because we know that faith come by hearing the word of God. And we have to continue in the faith. The Bible says that when Paul wrote this, was inspired by God to write this, we got to continue in the faith, which is the word of God. And for the viewers out there, that is Colossians chapter 1, verse, 20, uh, verse 23. Colossians chapter 1, verse 23. See, I didn't know all these things. You know, I didn't know I had to uh, say the word. I didn't, I, I didn't know none of these things. Well, I thought that's good by going to church, singing, and, and all this, I'm going to heaven. And knowing in my heart, me and Satan was running buddies. Knowing in my heart that. But yes, and still, though, I kept doing the exact same thing until I came to the word of God, and it changed my life around. And not for the work, once again, not for the work, but for the better. But you got to continue in the faith. And I want to show you which is why it says that. Uh, it was, if someone turned to me with us, uh, I mean, John chapter 1, Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 1. Oh, 
something we all try to work through. Right. Okay. We all have it. And the reason why it's so important for us to continue in the faith, continue in the faith, once again, continue in the faith, which is the word of God, because that's why uh, in the beginning, the Bible said, was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. So if I continue in the word, I'm going to tell you in the faith. If I continue in the word once again, I'm going to tell you in God. Because the word was God. And that's the reason why, and God, as we, as we do lessons and lessons and lessons and lessons, I will show you through God's word how it's so important how we can believe in Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ says the only one way we can believe in him. I'll show you how what actually what saved us, <coughs> excuse me, what actually what saved us, right? Right here in the Bible. Now all the other things we've been seeing on television, we've been hearing out here, it's only one way. The Bible speaks of. And I believe in God. So I believe everything what the word of God says. But as we do the lessons and lessons and lessons, keep looking for me. In three weeks for another uh, a video of lessons about faith. But once again, how can I have faith? Word. Word. And faith can I hear what? Word. Word. And in the beginning was what? The Word. word. The Word was with God word. and it was God. Yes. So if I continue in the faith, if that which is the word, I'm going to tell you in God. Mm -hmm. That's why in Gospel of John, he said he would come and make that boil with him. Because why you got the word in you? Well, actually, Colossians 3.16. Well, we have Colossians 3.16. That's Colossians 3.16. Tells us that the word of Christ dwell in you richly. So, if I got the word of Christ dwelling in me, I don't have who else in me. Uh -huh. God. And God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you be looking for me for some more uh, lessons in about three weeks. I'll uh, uh, post some more. Thank you very much for uh, listening. And thank those for coming. And God bless.